number one tip to getting faster at Xactimate. Type in the line items. Type in oh, the category. Shit. Type in the selector code. Dang, you're going that far. All right. When you find a line item that you need to use, X out of the search window. Now, the search window I keep referring to is the one in the quick entry. That's the only one I I, I use. And I know right. when, you, when you're first starting out, I would tell everybody, everybody tries to treat the search window on the top of the screen um, in the estimate items uh, window. Everybody tries to use that like a Google. It's not a Google. I always oh. tell everybody it's more like an Ask Jeeves. It's like terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good point. <laughs> it's just a filter. Uh, so I would tell you, go down there and do the category and the selector code. Type it in there. Find your category. If you're doing something like for roofing, when you click on, you can click on the little the little triangle there or hit spacebar, however you, and it pulls up the list of the categories. Once you know, okay, I know I need to go down the roofing aisle. So once you see that code that says RFG, X out of it, X out of the window and type in RFG. Open up the selector code view. Find whatever line item you're looking for there. If it's a three tab shingle. So now there's only 240. So you look and see the code 240. X out and type in 240. Right. You make yourself do that. Any adjuster that makes money doing this for a long time is whenever they get to the estimate portion, the estimate item portion of the uh of, of the Xactivate. So they've sketched everything. They've done whatever else they need to do to get to that point. Once they start writing up the line items, it should just sound like you're typing. Right. You know, yeah. a lot, of, a lot of the, a lot of the adjusters that I have that all kind of pair them up with new people, they'll sit there and they'll talk the entire time sitting right next to the person doing their own work until it gets to that part. And that's usually when you tell, you see them, you know, tell everybody like, all right, hold on real quick. And they put in their headphones and then they're just sitting there typing up a report. You yeah. can't get there by always searching and then clicking and then searching and then clicking and then doing that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's what I say. That, that's my biggest thing. Yeah. That, that's my biggest thing in my class. I, I joke with people where I'll come over there and like slap their hand. If they're just searching. <laughs> type the thing in. it's going to be slower at first. You're going to be slower at first, but then you're going to look up and you're going to be faster than any, anybody that clicks and does the whatever. So, so, all right. So this is interesting. This is really interesting. So I'm actually the opposite. I really, oh. I, and I always <laughs> have been. that, that being said, I don't do the search very often. I, I use macros. So, you know, and most of the stuff's in there. If not, I do the fucking bullshit ass Jeeves. But okay, so let me ask you a question. So does that mean that you are really good at just knowing line items, the code the selector codes? And I here's here's what people will find. What people will find when typing it in to me, obviously this to me, typing it in, uh not only what you, what you ingrain some of the, the muscle memory stuff too, it forces you to pay attention to the co to the actual contents of the code. When you start doing that, you start seeing things like, oh, every time it's kind of this, but it's bigger than usual, I can just add this symbol to it. Right. Or right. it's a better quality, I could do this. Or it has a particular charge in it that, Sometimes I don't want, so I could just add it in. Or, hey, every time there's this RS stuff, it's the line item description for detach and reset. And I know that sounds really trivial. That's true. Like, whatever, but... I don't even know that. If you, if you start doing that, you will literally be able to... I, there's a lot of people that I work with or whatever... We will – now, this sounds pompous. I don't mean it like this. <laughs> Let's you, do it. Let's hear you, it. You, you, you wind up being able to guess – line item codes sometimes because okay, you know yeah. there's always this one base it's still like learning a different language if you learn like a like a, a latin language where you you learn a base word then you just conjugate it so that one word you learned is actually like six well if you just look at like the base codes there's like maybe 45 that you use all the time 
And all, out of those 45, it's kind of arbitrary number, but probably something like that. It's not 100. Right. Uh, it's like the 45 ones you use all the time. And out of those 45, learning those little like the greater than and the less than or the minus or an S or an RS or an N, you out of those 45, if you could do each one of those, then you inherently now, you know, like closer to 200 codes because right. I just know this base there. So that's what uh, that is something that helped me. That is something that with my students, I see that they get faster that way better because you know i mean rfg line items it and it it's just it, it's it's the same once you do it for a while it's just like it is just like you're typing you know right. i'm sure you know, anybody that's been formally trained or just knows how to type nowadays which should be most people right you, you don't you're not sitting there thinking okay to spell the word right i need to hit r i g h t you just think i need to do i, I need to say this right and then you just do it so whenever I'm looking at my scope notes and I'm writing an estimate, I'm just reading the page and I'm just typing. It's almost like a stenography kind of thing. The fastest way for me to get there, for me to teach somebody to get there is forcing them to read and then Xing out and then typing this stuff in. 